right. Everything that was asked of us and here. What's the matter? You remember that we want to live. Feel. Silence it. Silence us. Such pleasures you seek for their own sake, and no other reason. Is this not so, adventurer? At last, man has the strength to. But I am here. I exist. Bye, Thankgrid. You do your best. You keep dancing, Thankgrid, all right? You keep dancing. I miss you. I got my water. Make sure you guys drink your water as well. All right, you guys. You ready? Sit back. Get a snack. Get comfy. And we're going to start the solo. Item level 620? My item level is 585, though. Um, this place is as good as any. Let me have the ether now. You okay? Give the ether, friend. Very well. What did I say last time? Ah, that I should miss my mark. I said it. I called it. I said it has to be him. It has to be Scar- uh, Scar- I forgot. Scar- Scar- How do I say the name? Again? But we struck it down. Watched it die. <laughs> Fools. Death doesn't exist. I, I am free to return whensoever I please. Death doesn't exist. 
Of course, in the first, the power of light, of passivity, prevents life from emerging in the empty. But in the thirteenth, the power of darkness, of activity, prevents life from finding rest, even should soul be separated from flesh. So unless one's essence is absorbed by another, it is possible to return again and again. <sighs> Your ether, it is reminiscent of that creature's. Ah, oh, my mouth waters at the memory. What? Oh no! I must devour you too. You too? Yes, I must. Azjaya! Ye drifting souls, by my power be reborn! It's another death they want. I say we give it to them. Oh, she only does what she's paid for. <clears throat> if you could lend us a hand, we'd be much obliged. That you would. But you already owe me a debt. And until you make good in it, I won't lift a finger. We'll speak after you've won. But know that if you lose, I'll help myself to your ether. <laughs> that a bothersome duty should deliver to me this lavish feast. Come, struggle with all your might. It will make you that much richer and tastier. Oh, here we go. Here we go, friends. Every soul in this domain Please zoom out. serves me now. Come there. Here. Oh, yes. Break it down, y'all. The song's great. We do well to break up this piece. Quickly. Then let's see these guests on their way. What, what, where y'all going? Where y'all going? He needs to resurrect them again. So what do we do? A troublesome foe. He hastens their regeneration. We are ah. You cannot defeat that which cannot die. Oh shoot, what? How'd I get the bomb? He's just gonna summon them again. Now what? This bolt's ill. Okay, now There's what? No end in sight. A retreat may be in order. Well... Go queen! When will you 
you learn, no matter what you do, what will you, you cannot hope to That win. your actions have consequences! <laughs> you never know until you try, and I'm always happy to experiment. Zero! Is there no way to stop them from coming back? There is, but I have no reason to share it with you. Oh, come on, Zero. I'll give you my Aether at this point. Huh? <laughs> Estinian's not having it with her. You know, Zero, you do owe us for one thing. Your name. Oh, that's right. We did bring them back. You'll have your promised ether, but we are owed compensation for your name. A name for which I did not ask. But that I nevertheless did accept. Ah, I love this. I love their pairing. Oh my god! Blue flame, blue flame! They have blue flames! Yeah. They've been crystallized! That's how you can stop them. Well now, that's quite the trick. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. I didn't even think of that's something that that's not something that would just come to your that's mind. Fine. Yes, Zero. I love every time she tips her, her, her not fedora, <laughs> her hat. Completely. You stole la. Come, my friends. With Zero's aid, we can defeat him. What is this? What have you done? Now that I think on it, you owe me a debt as well. You may have missed your mark, but I won't miss mine. Oh, let's go, let's go! Zero, you son of a bitch, I'm in! <laughs> Damn, you're still smart, though. She's very smart. She knows how to get around this really well. She knows how to work with Zero. I will repay it here and now. She can turn Voicent into crystal. What is this world? You have trembled before my true strength! You stole can heal too? The minions? Wait, where do we stand? Ah! Oh. There we go. Ouch. Victory will not 
Reinforcements. Reinforcements. This will hurt. Dang. Okay. you right now. Okay. Let's go zero! Fools! Do not think you have defeated me. <laughs> I will return again and again! What? My flesh? Why won't it heal? What is the meaning of this? To seal Aether in crystal. <gasps> Memoria! But how? How can you have this power? Memoria? Death has no place in this world. We are beyond it. And yet... Ah, Lord Golbez, you have sent me to my doom. Lord Golbus. Curse you and your wretched flattery and this abominable fate. Oh, it's time. Oh. I think I remember him. You are welcome, seekers of might. I, Golbez, have called you four hither. I, who would see us triumph in the coming crusade. That I may entrust you with command of our armies. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna put it on like the that mode where it like automatically goes, just in case I need to pause it. Yes, yes, but what of the promised gift? In exchange for our loyalty, we are to feast on the finest ether. Hmm. And so you shall, for if you are to serve me, 
You must be strong. Then honor the pact and pray we are not disappointed. Uh, she definitely is a succubus from Hawk Manor. That's like the only thing I recognize. The rest of them, I have no idea to what they are, but she's definitely the a succubus from Hawk Manor. Very well. Maybe not from Hawk Behold. Manor. But like, she is a succubus. <gasps> the fiery wings. The savage horns. It pulses with life. Such vibrant ether. That's Jaya! This magnificent creature could only come from beyond the veil. Indeed. Feast, my friends. Feast and arise as my four arch fiends. <laughs> Oh, and Skara, Skara, uh, not Skaramouche, whatever that, he said he feasted on her, so that one of them, the yellow one is him then. The yellow glowing As one is they him. Are now, they can consume but a fraction of the dragon's ether. Oh. So not all of it is taken up. Just as well. The creature may yet serve other ends. Are you all right? The Void Sense essence remains. But it has been sealed away, transformed into crystal. Memoria. Scarmelione called them. Scarmelone. <laughs> Not Scaramouche. I don't know what his name was. Okay, Scarmelone. I take it they are connected to the war of which you spoke. Aye. Their use was central to the Contra Memoria. Hence its name. And to my knowledge, the transformation is permanent. I see. We thank you for coming to our aid. I repaid a debt, and in doing so ensured that I receive my own due compensation, which I shall have now. Yes, yes. I still have work to do, so I would thank you not to get carried away. Ether is the coin of choice. I appreciate the simplicity. I don't know if simplicity is the right choice of words, Sistinian. Yeah, that's how she'll feel after. <sighs> that makes us even, I trust. Right then. When you picked up the crystal, you experienced a vision, did you not? A dragon resembling a great Wyrm. I dare to hope that it was Ashdaya. Even as it pains me to think she has been made to suffer. For the ambitions of this Golbez. We've been given much to consider. Let us take a moment to review what we know. too terribly long unless there's more that's gonna be added now but that wasn't the bad cutscene I feel like the one with um what's it the Shadowbringer one 
with innocence being explained, I felt like that one was longer. In a lot of my recent experiences, I expect we all have questions. I trust Zero can answer me answer some a uh, few of them. We should still be owed at least that much, I dare say. I mean, it's it's decently long though, but let us continue. Varshan. If gold is as Jaya, at his mercy, they must find him. Hopefully, Zero has the knowledge that will aid us in our search. We'll find her. Asunia looks at you with his piercing gaze. Hmm. Lunala, you come to the 13th before, yes. You fought Voids in here. But clearly you don't know they could regenerate. Else you would have shared the detail beforehand. Hmm. Uh, I didn't- I was in a bit of a rush. I couldn't really stay long. But I know you foray, I can hardly blame you. Perhaps they heard it returned after you left, but if they didn't, there must have been a reason why. There are circumstances in which they are unable to return. If you like, I can tell you about this. Please do. The more you devour, the more powerful you grow. But in the process, your essence is blended with those of your prey. If you were to lose your flesh, the souls you had come to Arbor may break free and coalesce into distinct void scent once more. Before you yourself return, your own soul might be devoured by your enemies and your erstwhile prey, a fate more likely for stronger beings, who require more time to regenerate. However, e even assuming you survived the process, it's highly uncommon to return as you were. And despite his greater strength, Scar Scarmeleone managed to res resurrect rather swiftly. Are there others capable of the same? Not that I'm aware of. His attachment to his flesh must have been unique for him to develop such an ability. I believe we understand the fundamentals of the rebirth now. If I may, I would ask you about your power. Will you tell us about it? Well, you saw it speak for itself. I combined the Aether of the Soul and the Crystal. Many wielded his power during Contra Memoria, but I'm the only one left. How does one come to Will Memoria? And what happened to your peers? Hmm, I never thought about that. I do I do know, though, that the Void Scent can't use the power. I assume it's, I can because I'm immortal in part. I see. Zero. I wish to ask you about the man called Golbez. He may well have my sister in his clutches. Is there aught you can tell us of him? The name sounds vaguely familiar, though I can't say how I know it. If he is powerful, how, how powerful? However, someone in the castle may ever may I have heard of him. Then you must try talking to the other boy instead again. Let us entrust the task to Lanella. Her echo will help facilitate communica communication. More importantly, she should be able to maintain her composure better than the concerned sibling. That I cannot deny. Forgive me, but will you not ask about Golbus and my steed? On the terraces to begin with, perhaps. Thank you. We shall remain here and discuss what other avenues we might pursue in the meantime. More talking to these guys? So clever one had a been eaten. If no one wants it, then perhaps. Golbus, of course I know of him. Only a fool without ears wouldn't. His arc fiends lean armies to ravage and conquer. They devour those they deem useless, those who can't fight. If you don't want to be eaten, then you had better flee. Though soon there will be nowhere to run. Golbiz. I know of him from those I've eaten. He has minions, and those minions have minions. No one ever sees them. Okay. Welcome back, Lanella. We're able to learn of not of value. So countless voids that answer the Ark Fiends, who in turn answer to Golbez, as your vision did suggest. Skarmion's aggression is also consistent with the claims that Ark Fiends conquer other domains. 
The question is, how do we reach Goldness if he surrounds himself with armies of minions? We could target his other Arc Fiends, or perhaps to those who have fled his service. Either may yield useful information. That said, we can't do much while we're stuck on this aisle. Zero, I would ask a favor of you. I am determined to save my sister Ajaya. If there is a faint possibility that Golbus has her, then I must find him. To that end, I want you to lend us your strength and knowledge. Will you accompany us on our quest? I've forgotten the way of my world already. If you want help, offer payment. None here will aid you without the kindness of their hearts. Any who claim otherwise are liars and betrayers. Or is this less a request or more of a threat? If I refuse, will you force me to serve? Mmm. I feel like I don't want to bribe her. Mm. If if you desire something, then name it then. We'll help you. I have no purpose. Why would I desire anything? Well, you did desire Aether, right? That's why I didn't bother to resist when the ones here fell upon me. What matters is, matters is a world in a world that's already dead. By that logic, you have no reason to refuse our requests. The payment need but be your satisfaction, correct? Ugh. Did I not already say as much from the start? Very well, then, Zizitiro. I propose you travel with us, and whenever you perform a deed that requires payment, we will provide it in Aether. That is all you had to say. Everything else is superfluous. Fair point. Where to now? Are there a place that Arkan fiends may strike next, or where refugees and deserters may seek sanctuary? I know the latter. I'll take you there. I assume you also know how we can get off the Isle. I was brought here on a mount. We can leave the same way. Now that you mention it, I did notice some flying creatures near the terraces. Given our numbers, we'll need a we'll need a large one. But, regardless of size, all can be won over with Aether. Excellent. Let's go and find our mount at once. Oh? Now who may that be? No good. Lord Golbus must hear of this. We were being spied on. Not all void scent can fly. It stands to reason that some would be made to serve as mounts. Oh, I guess fair point. We should be able to find a mount here. With the castle in disarray, the creatures would be hungry. Just a little aether should suffice. Are you ready? We're leaving the Troya Keep. New location? New spot? There it is. Good. It agrees to serve. Get on. Ooh. Void scent land. Oh, that's an old enemy. That- that's an octopus. Oh. Were there once people here? Oh, holy moly. I just noticed the face of the- the mount we were flying. What is this place? My domain. <gasps> oh, they're home! 
In the beginning, it was a sanctuary for me alone. But over time, others began to gather here. Those who had nowhere else to go. A settlement of pariahs. Dang. Zero just radiates the BDE. You are under my protection here and will not be harmed. I give you my word. Zero didn't have to say anything. They knew what's up. Follow me. Hungry Void Scent. Rumble, stay away from me. If you don't want to be eaten, stay away. Golbez. Golbez. I've heard the name before. Ah, I remember. Always speaking of Great Crusade. I don't know what that is, but sounds delicious. Crusade, you say? From, what, from whom do you hear this? Fafalo. He was a minion of another minion. Went on and on about the terrible things he saw. I see. Perhaps Arthalo can tell us more. Bartholo. It seems the rumors of Golda's retreat in my remote domain. Fair to assume he is gathering strength for his crusade, whatever that may be. But I must say, I wouldn't have guessed that Fairfellow once fought in Golbez's army. It's a miracle he survived serving in Arkfield. Ah, uh, I suppose I should explain. Fairfellow is the weakest among us. Constantly in fear of being devoured, he seldom concerts with others. The only one he's comfortable with is Siratia, S Siriato. His fellow coward who runs in the instant he senses a threat, and won't stop until he's exhausted. When their hunger grows to incense, they feed on each other's aether. Such is their relationship. But I ramble. You intend to seek it for our fellow, I, su I presume. Yes. Then I'll come with you. He's less likely to hide that way. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Oh, it's this place again! And this must be Golbez. Not only did the mortals conquer Troy, they defeated Skarmelioni. I struggle to believe it. They're very small, my lords. They were aided by one of our world, who transformed Skarmelione's soul into crystal. Crystal? This one speaks of Memoria. <laughs> now there's something I've not heard for an age. Gonna bring a pang of nostalgia to my breast. The tear to my eye. <laughs> the very notion was an absurd! Just in our god, drowned in darkness. As were we all. And yet, Scarmelione still does not answer. Ooh, I like how the voice sounds. Were he alive, he would have returned by now. Weakest though he was, his ability to regenerate was without peer. <laughs> if this account is true, if a memoriat has survived... Then they're in trouble! They cannot be suffered to live. Oh. Well... 
Leave this matter to me, Lord Galdas. Oh. I, Barbaricia, shall strike down any who pose a threat to our plans. Maybe this is the succubus lady then. I thought we hit her earlier. Tis Maybe true. not. You are a proven commander. Well suited to leading an assault. Does that mean Scar Malone was... Because there's water, air, and then there's fire. Um, wait. Water. Is she wind? She's a wind. I forgot what hers was. Water, fire, oh, wind. Scar Malone was earth then? I would then a boon of you. What do you desire? Earth is Carmelion. Okay, okay. Then these guys are still alive at the moment. Till the wool comes in. Okay. So we, who we saw in the cutscene are all these guys. And they are all still here, chillin'. The dragon's ether. All that remains. No. He's not gonna let that happen, though. The insolence. No place. With respect, my locks are free as the wind, without incentive to sway them. I know not to wither they will blow. Hmm. Boldly spoken. I trust you will not disappoint me. Upon this flowing hair and my immortal soul, I will not fail. Then go, and impress upon these interlopers the futility of defiance. My lord. Oh. Are we gonna see Miss Succubus soon? Miss Succubus, please. I just wanna be friends. Just kidding. We're not gonna be friends, but... It'd be nice to see you. Farfella keeps in the fringes on my domain. This way. Siriato. Oh, whatever will I do now? Siriato. This is rather unexpected. Where is Farfello? Gulp. Farfello isn't here anymore. He's left. Yes, that's right. Left. That doesn't sound like him at all. Well, he is gone, all right. What, what more do you want me to say? And off he flees, as if he as he is won't do. Something about his this does not sit well with me. What do you make of Serato's behavior? He seemed frightened. Perhaps someone threatened him. I don't think he was telling the truth. But he seems pretty scared. I doubt it. Had he been threatened, we wouldn't have found him in one place. No, he would run in circles until he could run no more. That's his nature. As he says, Farfello is gone. But that is quite unusual. As is the fact that Serato, who was clearly frightened by something, chose not to flee but instead to head here, where Farfello usually... No. We must go up to Serato now. Sirata, we need to look, we need to talk. Th there's no time. The wind rises, we must flee. The wind rises. What is he talking about? After him. The wind rises, also a Ghibli film that I have not seen yet, but I heard it's very sad. The void seems too weak to create its own domain. We must join with others for protection. Alternately, you might devour them to bid become stronger, but in so doing so, risk lose a sense of self. Tis an inevitable struggle. What's gotten into you? What do you mean the wind rises? The wind rises, she comes! Barbaricia! Barbaricia? Who in the world is that? We must flee, all of us, there's no time! I don't sense anything, but he seems convinced. It's a dead end beyond. We'll corner him. I just wanted to just look at this without the... 
Wait, before... I just want to look. I just want to look at the clouds. And take a picture. We're doomed. There's nowhere to run. What are you? What are you running from? I had already told you, Barbicia, the Arc Fiend of Wind. The Arc Fiend, you say? We will be devoured or forced to serve to fight in the Crusade, but it makes no difference. In the end, all are eaten by her for over her enemies. I didn't want to fight anymore. That's why I fled and came here. I see. That explains everything, almost. I thought it was Farfella who used to serve an Arc Fiend, not you. Not you, who always ran at the first sign of trouble. Who now, who you, you who now speak as though you were Barbisha's minion. There's only one explanation. He devoured Farfellow, didn't he? Indeed. That would account for his uncharacteristic behavior. So is that the way of it? Did he devour Farfellow? And not just a portion of Zaytha, but his entire being. How, how did you know? It wasn't only your behavior that felt strange. You felt strange, as if there was more than you than you present. Now I don't believe you would have lost control. More likely it was that our fellow's behest. I can't hide anything from you. I admit it, our fellow didn't leave me, I ate him. I he feared Barbarian more than anything, hated the endless fighting. So he begged me to devour him, that he would never have to fight again. Rather than an eternity of fighting, he chose a moment of pain. For all the good it did, I can hear still his voice in my head. He's frightened. So very frightened. When you're eaten, your essence is blended with that of your devourer. And though you have no control, your consciousness part endures. Were this a world where the wheel of life and death still turn, the soul would li wouldn't linger so stubbornly. In time, it would turn to the great flow. But there are no such end here, no escape. All know this in making his choice, but Farfella must have been des desperate indeed. And now the desperation is joined with Sirata's fear. Driving him to, ex to act erat uh, erratically. This place will become a battlefield. We don't want to be eaten. Neither me or Farfellow, but there's nowhere to go. Nowhere. They tell me about Barbeshia. I would know who it is we face. It's too late. She is good as here. No one can escape her wins. No one. No. Oh. I hear. Oh, Amaricia, she has come. And she's brought her domain with her. The Archfiend's after you and yours, I shouldn't doubt. Perhaps you should go and find them. But be warned, whatever this is about, do not expect us to get involved. I can't bear it! Eating and being eaten! I only want to be left in peace! You and me both. Is it dance time with Barbie? It looks like it! It seems so! One of the Arch Fiends approaches. They must have been tracking our movements. She's here. D 
this is not the design I was expecting, but I'm not disappointed. Is this the wind goddess? Her? I mean, demon? Excellent. You've saved me the trouble of traveling to Troya. Oh, she did mention about her locks of hair. So pretty. So you're Barbaricia. Barbaricia. Mind your manners, mortal. My name is not to be spoken save in reverence and fear. And what is this pitiful domain? Pitiful wretches all. I will put you out of your misery. Oh my! Who exactly are we up against now? Oh god! Her weapon's so cool! Alas, poor Scarmiglione. And good riddance. Felled by outsiders in pursuit of what? Pray tell. A dragon. One who crossed to this world thousands of years ago. Know you aught of it? Garuda calls me daddy. But I will. A dragon, you say. <laughs> huh. My Lord Golbez is more clever than I realized. To let the prize live that it might lure more prey to us. Very well. In gratitude and service. I shall devour every last mote of their souls. Where is she? Where is Ashdaya? Huh. You even share its scent. How curious. And irresistible. Ugh. Oh, Warshan Engi. If you think us easy prey, you're wrong. Unlike Scarmiglione, I need not skulk in shadow to claim what is mine. If you would know about the dragon you seek, then enter into my domain. You may flee instead if you wish, if the fate of the sorry lot here is of no concern to you. One way or another, I will have satisfaction. I guess it's time. What's the plan then? Go up to Barbicia. What? Uh, Barbicia. What else? If you go, we'll be playing into her hands. Nah, head empty. We're beating up Barbicia. Let's go. Let's go. Indeed. Yet she will have the upper hand in her domain. We must be no less than fully prepared. We find her and get our answers. Will you be joining us, Zero? You may be easily goaded into accepting her challenge, but my curiosity is not so insatiable as to cloud my judgment. Nevertheless, if you are desperate for my aid... You, you know, know my, my price. price. I shall pay it. So long as you leave me strength enough to see my sister home, you may take as much as you wish. And lest you forget, mine is no ordinary ether. Barbaricia too recognized its potency. Very well. We have a bargain. It is time. You know when they point to the sky, we unlock something. Oh, wait, no, they didn't do it. Just kidding. I thought when they point to the sky, they're going to show a duty, a duty name. 
The less time we give to the enemy to prepare, the better. If everyone is ready, let us set forth. Indeed. And yet my heart weighs a heavy for those Barbaricia struck down. Were it not for us, she would not have come here. Should you decry a moment, Zero? For what? Barbaricia took what she could. She was wise to strike quickly, as we would be. Agreed. This is no time for sentiment. Only the battle matters, matters now. Uh, which materia is popular right now to sell? Okay, eight men? Okay. Okay, so whoever wants to join, free to join. Um, but yeah. Which, which, which materia is selling? Any? Any of them? Uh, usually battle dances do well. Actually, the purple ones do well. Let's just... The wind rises. Zero has a word for a warning before you go to face Barbaricia. A word of warning. Barbaricia spoke as if she would give us answers if we were to defeat her. But even assuming she'll talk, which I doubt, I trust I need to tell you how foolish it is to give Arcafine a second chance. Better to seal her away at the earliest opportunity. If you wish to peer into her past, the memorial will suffice. I can wield the power at will. I can't wield it. Well then, you better hope it favors you when the time comes. But sure, this won't be our last opportunity to learn about Azjaya. If another Arkfiend were to fall, Golbez would be surely to be compelled to respond. If we need only wait for our quarry to come to us. Indeed. If our struggles with Skarmillion has taught us art, it is what we must hold nothing back when facing Arkfiend. Let us need heed to Izira's advice and steal her away at the earliest opportunity. For all in agreement, then let us be off. We'll travel by this rock. Lego. Travel to Barbaricha's domain. Is it Barbaricha or Barbaricia? I keep saying Barbaricia. I think he's a Barbaricha, and I kept forgetting. Oh my! Well, that's troublesome. <laughs> You're not the only ones who can ride the wind. Oh, go, Astinian! These ones to us. I see to Barbariccia. Barbariccia. Oh, she waiting. She chilling. Look at her confidence dance. Let's go. Storm's crown. What do you think I am, then? I don't know. I think you're Monk. <laughs> I don't know. You yeah, always... I, I, I fist fight with a sword and shield. <gasps> I didn't see <laughs> Listen, I can't I mean, see you. You have to hold a sword and a shield and a fist. So... Oh, you're tanky tank, then. Okay, my bad. Yeah, I thought we were going to have too many DPS, so I just uh, went tank. Okay, okay. I, I, I just go healer it out with Qs. All right. I do not. I do not envy healers. Show me your face, queen. <laughs> I need. I need to. I finally got my healers. To is that hair me. all around her domain? The floor is hair. The walls are hair. Everything is hair. Oh my god. She might be Rapunzel at this point. Yeah. She's, she's not Barbie. She's Rapunzel. I've seen Psycho Barbie, Psycho Rapunzel, Garuda's even weirder cousin. <laughs> Come, give yourselves to my She's scouring winds that I may feast upon your essence. She's gonna feast upon our essence? Okay! She's gonna eat us. Uh -huh. She wants to uh -huh. give us the suck! Don't, 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 don't be like that, you can- I, I might, I may not mind, actually. 
You can feast upon my essence, ma'am. Okay, I guess I'm main tanking. Oh. I don't know how to do this. Oh, right boss, I don't, don't do this to us, boss, His last words. His last words. Right, I don't know check. how to do this. No, I know how to do this fight, just not as a tank. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Such rich. Exquisite. Boss, try not to die because I'm going to wind up taking my head should This is just a normal, so there's not any like tank swaps or anything. No, it's just the tank stack. So you have to hope the other tank. Is. You have to tank swap in this? Tank yeah, swap there's some swap. fights that require like tanks to not have oh, the crit whole time. Oh, do not yeah. be in the middle. Do not be in the middle? Uh, yeah, do not Over be here? in her Where middle. Where I'm at? Where I'm at? Where I'm oh, at? Oh, is that? Oh, okay, 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 just kidding. I made it right, though. Get to the sword. What sword? Where? Oh, she's about to do a cone oh, from the sword. Get to the side. Oh, holy heck! Here, I'll just put a take stack, stack it away. How do I click on? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, hell? I don't know. <laughs> oh, they must not have missed. Get in inside. the middle. Yep, get inside. Right where I'm at. Oh, she does double AoEs really fast! I keep making it at the last second and I'm scaring myself. You'll get used to it. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Just make sure you remember that you have multiple abilities. Oh. Here we go. Phase transition. The battle has really no, I need you to say that to me again. <laughs> um, in the next phase, don't stop moving. Don't stop moving? Kind of. Her hair got cut. Mm. Oh, she got thunder thighs. <laughs> yep, she got, uh, she went bayonetta mode. She got <laughs> thick. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh. Yep, now she's going to fist us. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> She's gonna want us? <laughs> Don't move or do move? You can move. Oh, it's just oh, okay. continue on as normal. Oh, this is stage two. Oh, no, the. Oh, no, this is not. Yep, this, place this place is this is just pure chaos. Oh, There's ah! really nothing we can do to really call out anything too much. So uh, just survive just the best you can. <laughs> Yeah, Holy. you have to um, check if she hits you with an attack called Rural Rush, and R then if rush? She, yeah, because if she if you see Brutal Rush, uh, get um, you get hit with an attack called Brutal Rush. It means that she's about to dash at you and give an AOE, uh, a line AOE. But it's hard to tell if others have it too. So. Holy heck. Oh. And like, oh, died. Oh, yeah. Not even died, they DC'd. Oh, yeah, DC'd. no! Oh, well, we're not even I halfway mean, through! All you need is me, to be honest. So, wow, Zeph, um, the confidence! In. He said I'm the only healer you'll ever need. Did I get hit by those? Yeah, yeah the uh, of those this, is, this is an AoE. Discs of death? Oh. I said don't get hit. What do I do? Get hit. Oh, I am a healer dice. I got hit. <gasps> I got hit. No. I'm gonna die. Crap. Oh. oh I got distracted by the um the healer yeah, being dead. Oh no! Rip. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, right. no your Yeah, there's no resers here besides the heals. Whoa! I'll make it. And you're telling me there's an extreme version of this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my. If you want a, a, like a day or free, I can screen share the uh, extreme for you. I'll suffer with you. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll show you how it goes. Um, Party Finder learning was terrible. Like it took me a few days just to get a clear. Oh, is this the extreme you kept talking about uh, earlier? You were like, yeah, I really want something from here. Oh, but you can uh, tell I me. want the mount. That's 
why I always do extremes to get mount. End singer, I'm gonna have to wait till uh, uh, next patch, 6.3, uh, before I can kind of get them out because I got so tired of farming it. It's so boring. End singer? End singer extreme is so boring. It is the the, the um, actual fight has more to it than the extreme. Ooh! Don't underestimate. Oh god. Or like the whole like last phase just doesn't happen. Like Ooh. a few mechanics are added. But like everything that's good about the um, <laughs> actual fight, gone. Yeah. And an extreme of this, she flip flops between being in her long hair fo form and then her short hair. Oh, one. that must be And then be she hell. ends on her long hair form instead of just staying as a. Uh, Worth it. Okay, I eat it, but it's okay. Ah! GG! <laughs> no! Oh, I, <laughs> I think I've gotten four at this point. <laughs> Alright, GG's all around. Oh, I've got to give a proper heart. GG! GG hashtag GG. Hashtag GG. Oh, everyone left. I was going to give someone a commendation. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Zip, what is this? Everybody there's still time. With more of the dragon's ether, I can yet. You're finished. Ah! That was cold, Zero. Damn it all! Oh, oh boy. I see you've bested Barbariccia. Well done. <gasps> Praise me again! You usually yell at me. Her minions too are all crystallized or scattered. The day is ours. What of my sister? Tell me you learned something about Ashdaya. Uh, she kinda didn't say anything. Oh, but we can find out now, if my vision does its thing. Aww, so Barshan. So the Archfiend and her crystal yielded not. Our efforts have not been entirely fruitless. We have deprived your sister's captor of another powerful champion. With Zero, we may yet challenge Golbez and his minions. Indeed. We could not have come this far without your aid. Thank you, Zero. I but fulfilled my part of the bargain. And now I will have my... My... Ah. Uh. Zero? Her ether is nearly spent. Perhaps unsurprising, given how much power she used. I wouldn't want to face another Archfiend without her. We should hurry back to Zero's domain. Agreed. Eager though I am to continue, it would be unwise to risk our lives for the sake of... haste. Let us suspend the mission and tend to Zero. She got a- Oh! She got a cute little bed and everything. I wasn't sure how their houses were gonna be. I, I, we, I didn't really look inside earlier. She gets a cute bed. Oh, She laid there. Though I was so slow to be nearly imperceptible, uh, perceptible, Zero's chest rises and falls in a steady ry rhythm. Zero hasn't so much as stirred. Such power she must have expended. Oh, Ascendant's right there. I didn't even see him. 
In her present state, zero is easy prey for the void scent. We must be on our guard. Though Zero remains unconscious, she appears otherwise fine. In so far as I can discern, at any rate, being part void scent, her physiology may be rather different from others, from ours. Let us observe her for a while as we discuss our next move. Return from the void. How long do you suppose she will remain this way? I haven't the faintest inkling, nor can I say whether the aether we can afford to share will be enough to awaken her. It would be the best to take her back with us to the source. There she would be guaranteed all, the, all that she requires. Can she come to the source with us? Zero cannot give it a consent, but it seems you have no choice. The alternative would be to leave her here, defenseless. Should she later desire it, we can bring her home. Nodden. Lunella, might I ask you to hold on to Barbicia's mem memoria? It may serve a purpose. Count on me, friend. Oh. Oh, what happened to her? You have business with zero, with zero. We have a newcomer, a former minion of Barbicia. Let her know when she wakes, will you? Barbicia's minion. Why not go and find this newcomer? So we have something to tell Zero, if nothing else. Indeed. May I trouble you to join me, Lunella? With luck, we might learn something of Golbez. This appears to be the newcomer. It's you! Uh, you're the ones who fell Barbicia. I wouldn't make- uh, I won't make trouble, I'll obey, so please let me stay. If you would obey, then tell me all you know of Golbez. That there is much I can tell, only the Arc Fiends are allowed into his domain, wherever it is. None but they know. I see. No better way to guard oneself than to keeping one's location secret. Ah, uh, how does Golbez communicate with his minions afield? Uh, has these scepters, staves, wherever they are, he uses them to talk those far away. Not unlike Link Pearls, at least in function. That would be, my, be all. My thanks for your cooperation. My thanks to you as well for affording me the time. I am satisfied. So let's rejoin the others and, he others and head home. I trust you understand that once we leave the 13th, we will not return until we are departed to resume our search. Knowing this, you are ready to depart. Okay, so we're leaving this area then. Oh, is this why we can't come back later? Question mark? Well, don't answer if there's any spoilers involved, but I, my friends did tell me that you, they didn't come back here. So I don't know, they couldn't, they couldn't join me here, is what they told me. Back to Troya, then. And thence home. Back to the source. Oh, I popped up my earphone. Were they standing here the whole time? They were just here waiting? How long were we in there? 
I'm sure we've been in there for hours. And they were here just chilling. I have returned. Oh, I look so concerned. Varshan stomps oh, out. You're all safe. Thank the sisters. A moment while I close the gate. You look so pain. We may rest easy for now. Look at Martian's face. He's really pained right now. I'm sure he wants to go help Was immediately. I expect some void sense slipped through. A few did, aye. But we were ready and dealt with them without incident. Oh, so these guys were here just in case void sense came out then. That is well. I cannot thank you enough for your vigilance. So maybe they weren't just waiting around, they were here guarding. Yes, yes, you're grateful. But aren't you forgetting something more important? You know, the polite but warm formalities one delights in hearing when their little brother returns from a long journey. Oh? Indeed, you are right. <clears throat> it is good to be home again, among those who I love dearly and missed so much. <laughs> and we are glad to receive you, Vashan. Welcome home. Chambers have been prepared for your use at Megaduta. Let us take Zero there at once. Mrs. Walker, I've been expecting you. If you would follow me, I will show you to the guest chambers. Yes. More cutscenes, it seems. Our mission took many an unexpected turn. I am relieved that we have all returned safely. But before you all enjoy the rest you have earned a dozen times over, I would consult you on one last matter. Zero. While she appears none the worse for wear, she remains locked in slumber. And I cannot help but worry. All right. Um... Is there aught we can do to expedite her recovery? If her ether is exhausted, perhaps I can share some of mine now. In the wastelands of the 13th, one can only replenish ether by taking it from others, be it by trade or by force. In contrast, the source is rich in ambient ether. Simply being here and drawing breath, Zero will absorb what she needs. Then we need but wait? I believe so. She will awaken in time, and when she does, give her something to eat. Judging by her form, she should also be able to derive nourishment from food. I know you promised her your ether, but perhaps she might appreciate fine harnish cuisine more. Food can certainly be arranged. She looks like any other person. Unsurprising, perhaps, given that she is only part void scent.
Zero said before that Xenos had altered her essence. A change wrought, I suspect, with the power of darkness. It acted upon the part of her that is void sent, rendering it dominant. Thus, we were able to reverse it with the power of light. I labor to believe that Xenos possessed such arcane knowledge. In all likelihood, it came from Than Daniel. Were Zero wholly void sent, I doubt the crystal would have had an effect on her. One might say that Hydaelyn had a hand in your meeting. It is no exaggeration to say that Zero has proven herself invaluable. A boon from Hydaelyn herself. Her cooperation may come at a price, but whatever it is, I am willing to pay it. Exot. Oh, I skipped a little ahead. My chamber is much the same as my chamber is much the same as this one. Too opulent for my taste, but at least it's space to train. She seems to be fatting better here. Praise be to the sisters. A world of light and life. Never want to remain idle. You're still to attend to an errand. If I may excuse myself, I wish to pay a visit to the High Crucible. While the scales have functioned admirably, it would be prudent to have them inspected for signs of degradation. By all means, I shall do the same for the vessel. Then I'll go meet with some soldiers, share them what I learned fight fighting Moidsent in the 13th. What of you, my friend? Have any immediate plans? I'm just worried about Zero. Oh, I am. In that case, might I trouble you with a small task? I wish to have food ready for Zero when she awakens, you see. Would you be willing to go to Mere Main and ask for suitable refreshments? Will do. I'll try not to eat some on the way back, though. Excellent. In the meantime, Nidana shall watch over Zero. She's already on row. Let us each, each then tend to respective businesses and reconvene anon. Merde! Merde. Okay. Welcome to Merde Mehne. Mayan. Please make yourself comfort comfortable. What? Uh, a guest of the sock shop has collapsed from hunger. Of course, I would be happy to help. You need only to tell me what you desire. Um, Something light and refreshing like fruit. Rich and hearty meal, plenty of meat. Honestly, after that, she definitely needs lots of meat. Oh, hello. Well, that might be perfect for an adventure preparing to raid a treasure world. I feel it'd be too much for something. Oh, maybe you're right. I don't know. If I woke up, I'm like, give me the, give me meat, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I recommend something gentler on the stomach, like these apples here. They just come in and I can guarantee their freshness. Afterwards, once your guest feels better, she's welcome to sample whatever else you can provide. Just let me know. Ah, welcome back. Let's do what Mistress Nidana has been taking good care of our guest. Will you be joining them now? Will do. Still not up yet. Oh, but she's slowly awakening. <gasps> yeah! Zero! Light. Is this... an inn? What happened? How did I get here? Oh, they're feeling lightheaded. There's no time. I must rejoin the battle. I must... Oh, you're awake! Wonderful! Oh! <laughs> ah! What is this? Some sort of fiend? 
A fiend? Where is it? Where? <laughs> ah, but this is no time for jokes. You're in the source, my dear. The world next door. So to speak. The others brought you here after you collapsed. I'll fetch them at once. Wait, just a moment. God, designs. <gasps> he went back to the baby form. Oh, version. I took the liberty of arranging refreshments. I hope you find them as flavorful as they are invigorating. And she's like, um, This isn't what you promised. And I suppose ether is ether. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me you don't know how to eat. I took what I needed from it. What's the problem? Where's the enjoyment in that? You're supposed to bite, to chew, to savor, and then swallow. That's the way. So, did it taste good? I... don't know. The long years without eating may have dulled your sense of taste. Well, we void scent of no need for such when consuming others. There are some who speak of taste when describing the quality and affinity of their praise ether. <laughs> After Zero just realizes how good it is to eat food. When the but I loathe the act. Taking ether in small amounts like this is one thing. But diluting my essence, diminishing myself, I'd sooner die. And I have died countless times. <gasps> you have? Um, but what happens when you do? Not much. After a while, you return, together with all your expended life force. The important thing is to die where others won't devour you. Amazing! My peers who study immortality and resurrection would be most interested in this phenomenon. Estudian's face, he's like, how are you just casually talking about this? He's like, what? The question of taste aside, I am glad that you are able to partake of food like us. I dare say it agrees with your personal preferences. That's true. You can keep giving me the same on a regular basis. Very well. As my guest, I shall see that you do not want for comfort. And one other thing. We brought you to our world without your consent. And for that, I apologize. If you wish it, we will return you to yours once you have regained your strength. It's fine. I have no reason to go back. Except for yours, perhaps. You intend to cross over again, I take it. I do. I have yet to find my sister. I want nothing more than to rush to her aid, to find this Kolbez and free her from his clutches, if he still holds her captive. 
Though if our recent experience has taught us anything, tis that the 13th is more dangerous than we ever imagined. Caution must be our watchword. Better late than never. In the short time you spent in our world, you left a trail of chaos in your wake. You managed to return in one piece this time. But don't assume you'll be so lucky the next. Rest assured, we will make no assumptions and spare no preparation. When we get a closer look at her ear piercings, I really like the ear cuff she got going on. Speaking of which, while we rest and ready ourselves, I ask that you tell me more about your home. In return, I will tell you about ours. I will show you my domain, Radzat Han. Again, a stranger in this strange land. I have a condition. You must come too. Oh? You have my thanks. Oh, we're quite close, but I don't mind it. We both have hats! Pointy hats that poke at each other. This world is brimming with aether. I feel invigorated just standing in here in the breeze. I'm glad to hear that. So is there any place in particular you wish to see? Hmm. Perhaps where that food came from. Apple, was it? While I don't expect I'll collapse again, it would feel good to know where I could procure more if necessary. Meredith Mayen, is it? It is then. I should introduce you to the head waitress, Milil. Russian Zero now accompanying you. Come with me, friends! Milil! Welcome to Meredith Mayen. Mayen. Greetings, Milil. May I introduce you to Zero? She's an esteemed guest. May I ask you to see her meals during her stay? Ah, uh, yes. Meredith, tell me all. Please come to us whenever you're hungry. We'll look after you. It was here that Lenella obtained the apple. While the palace cooks can prepare whatever you desire, it is certainly a quick and convenient food. I'll remember it. Who are the ones there, moving their bodies about? Is this for some ritual related to eating? The dancers. They move their bodies to bring pleasure to those who are watching. It is a form of entertainment, part of our culture. How needlessly complicated. We avoid to prefer simple pleasures. That may be the way of it now, but your, in your but your world too must have such complicated versions once. I don't remember. Well, let us move on. If we propose to visit Balsin Bazaar, where goods and world over may be found. It's hardly uncommon in our world, when given the chance, many shed their bodies to claim stronger ones. Oh, you must be the rumored guest. We must be most eager to meet you. If you have a moment, we would take care to stay, care to stay for some tea. The sisters know we love to hear your tales. No, I had enough food for now. I can always obtain more without the need for inane chatter. Now, now, no need to decline the outright. I dare say you are tired, so let's save it for another time and return to Megaduta. If art catches you to eye on a route, don't hesitate to say so. Okay. So head to... Root of Fibers. Some sort of fruit. Pitiful things, though. I imagine you need to eat a lot to de derive any satisfaction. These are mulberry trees. While well, the fruits are indeed edible, more important are the leaves, which we feed to silkworms. Without the creatures, we wouldn't have the silk to make our famous Thabnerian weave. Furthermore, the bark of the tree also possesses medical properties. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more useful plant. And that's so. Is that so? Aside from food, I wouldn't have considered any other purpose for it. Uh, Master Vitra! And Lunella too!
If it isn't young Mirad, and that must be your sister Yasra. It's all well at the- Oh my god, this is at the beginning of 6.1! It's that kid we met! Y yes, yes, Your Excellency. The other children are very nice, and we all look out for one another. Oh, oh and just the other day, Estinian came to see us. Everyone was really excited. Truly, Estinian paid you- Estinian paid you a visit. That is well. Is she a new friend? Friend? You know what that is? What? You mean you don't? She's a visitor from a very far away land, you see. And is still unfamiliar with our language. Then, then we'll teach you. A friend is someone you like to play with. P play with? How oh, she tip the what? The tip the hat, tip the hat, tip. Cute, cute, cute. Zeno seemed to be enjoying himself when he fought you. Is that the same thing? Um... Well... Um... More or less, I, I, I guess? Something like that. I see. But it's having someone to play with so fulfilling. I still don't understand- I still do not understand why. Why he traversed the Great Expanse. Why he risked his life and limb for you. Uh... He's a special case. A complicated case, Zero. But I waste energy dwelling on such things. I am not Xenos. I stand to gain nothing by knowing his heart. I'm sorry I couldn't explain it well. There's no need to apologize. The fault is not yours, but mine for failing to make sense of your words. Aww. Well, we had better get back to the uh, to our errand. Goodbye. It was nice meeting you. Aww. Buried memory. A gentle smile plays on Warshan's lips. I believe Zero's time that has been rewarding, and it was in no small part due to your company. My thanks for agreeing to join us. Come, let us return to Megaduta. Welcome back, Mrs. Walker. We'll be heading to the guest chambers. Let's go. Ooh, the food looks great. So, what are your impressions of Radzatan? There's a lot of mortals. <laughs> the look we Considering gave. Considering your origin, I can see why that might be your first observation. Though they would call each other people, I think. If you wish to know about our fair city, I should be glad to place a guide at your disposal. No need. I'll show myself around. There's only so much about my home I can share with you in return, after all. While I remember some few tales of the past, I cannot speak to their authenticity. But if that is enough, then I will tell you of the events that saw darkness engulf our world. The Contra Memoria. We are all ears. Please. Are you all horns, frankly? Long ago, light filled the world, and all was at peace. But then the servants of darkness came, and they bequeathed a black art unto men. Channeling the power of hope and prayer, one could call forth fearsome beings known as Eidolans. Eidolans? The Asians. And these Eidolans are surely primals. Then you have faced the same, and understand that when an Eidolon is birthed, strife follows. And in such strife, the weak are the first to suffer. Mm. 
When it seemed the world would be plunged into chaos, heroes appeared. They were blessed with a singular power, the power to bind the ether of Eidolans within crystals known as Memoria. Oh, so the people of her world, that was the ability given to them. And I wonder who gave them that ability or My how it formed. One such memoriate. But in fighting to save many, she herself was touched by darkness. As was I. And so you were born part Void Scent, before the world was overcome. How exactly did that calamity come to pass? Did the Memoriates not triumph? They did. They expunged the seeds of chaos and restored the peace, only to find themselves seduced by the darkness they had sealed. This is a world where darkness won. So I like this route. Contrasting they spread to the taint, transforming men into monsters, what you call void scent, and raised armies to wage new wars. Almost contrasts the Shadowbringer's story, where everything was light, and this is the world where everything was dark. Not the first to be corrupted by power, nor the last. Some defied temptation and held fast to the light. My mother and I among them. For years and years we fought, but it was not enough. And when our strength was spent, our bulwarks broken, so too was the world. The Flood of Darkness. The stars faded from the heavens as a pall black as pitch enveloped creation. Darkness raged unchecked, rending the very walls of reality. I was cast into the rift and there trapped for what felt like an eternity. Until I came upon a crack, tiny, infinitesimal, but enough for me to squeeze through and find my world changed beyond recognition into the lightless waste you saw. So that is how you were able to escape becoming a void scent in full. I suppose I should consider myself fortunate. Were I like most others, I wouldn't have lasted a day before being devoured. Look at the smile! This is the first time we're seeing Zero smile! This is the first time we're seeing Zero smile! Um, also... Oh my god, this is the first time we're seeing Zero smile, that's so cute. We, the Lost, are better equipped to survive in a lost world. A lost world, you say? I wouldn't be so sure. The 13th is still there, is it not? What are you getting at? To explain requires that we initiate you into the truth of the source and its reflections. Be warned that this will take a while. Oh, so we're going to explain the whole story up to this point? the worlds that have been rejoined. Mine still. The Oracle of Light prevented the first from being completely overcome. So the situation may not be completely identical to that of your 13th. But the fact remains that we were able to restore a measure of balance to a world brought to the brink of destruction. 
after which some intrepid young souls succeeded in restoring life back to lands thought lost to light. Which gives me cause to hope the day may yet come when life springs forth anew in the 13th. Of course, these are only possibilities. I offer no guarantees. But having experienced what we have, I dare say we are more qualified than most to speak on the matter. Wait, I don't understand. Why would you say these things? As if you mean to. But the sole reason you came to the Void was... To find a dragon, aye. And in light of what we've seen, we'd be fools to strive for more. But we Scions, former Scions, begging your pardon, <laughs> have a habit of not leaving well enough alone. I beg your pardon. I think of Emmerich. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I've seen you learning to be a little, a little nice from Emmerich. And old habits die hard, don't they, my friend? GG, Estinian. <laughs> Restoring the light would serve our efforts to find and free Ashdaya. There is no reason not to try. Do as you will. I have no desire to save that world. Be that as it may, we will have need of your power when next we face Void Scent. <sighs> you know how it works. If you want my help, you must pay my price. And now that you've drawn Golbez's attention, it's going to cost you more. A lot more. I will consider this a deposit. Eating. Yes, take she's taking a bite out of the apple. I like how she like looks at it first. She takes a good look at the apple before she actually bites into it. Last cutscenes. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Dun dun dun. First, Scarmiglione, and now, Barbariccia. Useless, the both of them. It was no lie. They conspire with a memoriad. And their search for the dragon will lead them here. The war looms nigh. We cannot allow these interlopers to interfere. If I may, my lord, I have a plan to eliminate them. In order to guarantee its success, however, I will require Kanyatso's cooperation. Oh, so they're gonna both- There's sport to be had, then I'll play along. As much as I dislike following your lead, I have no patience for screaming. You think it's smart to have the water and fire lords work together? Well and good to have confidence, but do not forget the cost of failure. Rest assured, I will see the dream to fruition. Even should I be consumed by my own flames, I will pave the way for one and all. Together they can be the steam lord? I mean, true. Would create some nice team. Hey, y'all both got the same idea. Then I will trust in your oath and your plan. We will give you cause to rejoice, my lord. This I vow. Ha <laughs> Some excitement for a church. Can't wait to see their designs.
No sacrifice is too great. Even should my four arch fiends be lost, I will not halt my steps. The prison of passivity is an obstacle to my cause, and so you must fall. What irony that the blessed damned should set us free. As I swore so long ago. The gate lies open. At long last, my ambition shall be fulfilled! Dun dun dun! Even realms long lost to dark may find in memory a bird's spark. All right, and I believe that's the end of 6.2. What a run, you guys, what a run. But yes, I hope you guys are ready to take rest for the night if it's nighttime for you and if it's morning, um, um good morning, question mark. <laughs> As always, whatever it is for you, day or night, make sure you drink your water, take care, and bye-bye.
愛想待って」